Over the last week, the Central Valley has gone from record-breaking heat to a cool-down of more than 30 degrees. But such a quick change can cause some issues. Action News reporter Alec Nolan is live in downtown Fresno tonight with ways to deal with that sudden drop. Alec? Yeah, well, it's not 115 degrees outside today, which is a plus, but this sudden drop can take some getting used to for some of us across the valley. So how does it affect your body? We talked with Dr. Praveen Badiga right here in Fresno on how to handle that change. The Central Valley has taken a break from the heat, but that break can cause some issues. An acute temperature drop such as that, almost like 40 degrees, uh, basically makes the body, it sends the body into a little kind of shock. Dr. Praveen Badiga is an allergy and immunology specialist. He says with highs of 115 to now the high 80s, temperature changes can put your body in a vulnerable position. It predisposes you to make you sick, basically. It doesn't make you sick, it predisposes you to get sick. Dr. Badiga says this is especially the case for the elder community. Just last week, he was seeing patients with an all-too-common heat-related issue. Dehydration, big time was dehydration, not drinking enough water, not keeping the body temperature cool. And Badiga's colleague says the recent fires also didn't help. A month ago, it was more the pollens, um, their nose was really dry or they're super congested and a lot of the coughing just because of the dryness and then the weather with all of the fires that were going on. Dr. Badiga says allergy season has also changed. I've seen um, the allergies almost throughout the year now. It's all year round allergies. He contributes much of that to poor air quality, temperature fluctuations and high diesel particles. With the Central Valley right smack in the middle of north and southbound traffic across the state. When it comes to skin care, there's a simple solution to avoid conditions like eczema. You need to keep it very moisturized. Now, as Dr. Badiga mentioned, you have to be very careful about staying hydrated, but a sudden drop in temperature can also constrict your bronchioles. So those with asthma have to be careful as they will constrict, making it harder to get oxygen. Live in downtown Fresno, Alec Nolan, ABC 30 Action News.